Hi everyone, this is again Dr. Muhammad Irfan and in today's video we're going to learn that how we can check the mean of groups. Alright, so let me close this data file as well. Okay, so you need deploy package for that. So if you haven't installed this package, you need to install it once and then only once you need to install it, then you don't need to install it for a second time. But for every session you start, you need to run the library. All right, so these two packages are actually the main the main uh, packages deploy that you require, but this tidy log is also used for data wrangling. So I'm going to install these two packages because I have already installed these packages. So I am only going to run these two libraries. So to run this one, you're gonna you can use Control Enter or use this button Run command, and then it will run. For data. The empty cars data is a built in data. So use this data command, then in parentheses empty cars. See the data is over here. If you click on it, it will show you the data variables and and whatever it is available in that variables. So MPG, CYL, DSP are the name of the variables. If you're not sure about the data, so what it is, what it is showing, the simple command is question mark and then empty cards. Remember, this is only useful for built-in data sets. So question mark, empty cards if I do it. And then this window, look at that, my right hand down window. So it says MPG is miles per gallon, CYL, this HP, blah, 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 and AM is transmission where zero means automatic and one means manual. So let's suppose that we are interested in this AM variable and we want to see the mean miles per gallon of automatic and manual cars. Okay, for this, uh, first of all, let's check how many manuals and how many automatic cars do you have? The command for that one is table empty cars and then dollar sign am. Do it. So it says, look at in your console window. So it says zero, 19 cars are automatic and one car, uh, sorry, 13 cars are manual. All right, so to check the mean of these automatic and manual cars, the command is pretty simple, empty cars, then this pipe sign, this is called pipe sign and we also call it then in reading so you can get it by by using ctrl button plus shift plus m if you press all together these all together you will get this sign percentage greater than percentage this is a shortcut for that one so empty card is the name of the data and then you say in this data, I want to group by AM. Remember, this variable should be a categorical variable. If this is not a categorical variable, then of course your data will not be grouped. And then you can you, you can think of uh, according to your own data set. If you have this categorical variable and you're going to see the mean of that, you know, categories, then you can use this variable, uh, this command. All right, so group by transmission or AM, then summarize mean of MPG. This is the command. So let's run this command. See, it says automatic cars have 17.1 mileage per gallon, mean of 17.1 mileage per gallon, and manual cars have 24.4 mean of miles per gallon. It means manual cars are giving high mileage than automatic cars. All right, so you can play with this one a little more. Let's say you wanna also check the weight of the automatic and manual cars, and then you can use mean WT is the name of weight. Uh, see this one WT, and look at over here WT weight in hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. Let's run this command again. See, now it's showing the weight, the mean weight of this automatic and manual car. So it says, it says automatic cars have a little higher weight than uh, manual cars. You can also play 
with around with, with this one a little more for example you want to see what is the minimum or maximum weight of uh, of this group based on this group what is the minimum weight of automatic cars what is the minimum weight of manual cars you you can also go with max maximum weight it will give you a maximum weight of automatic car maximum weight of uh, automatic car and manual car and you can also go with standard deviation for example you go st is it says automatic cars have this much serious standard deviation and then uh, manual cars have this much standard deviation of weight remember that so the standard deviation is tells you the dispersion of the weight yeah remember i i i know you that you know about these things all right uh, this was it thank you very much for watching today's video please like and subscribe my channel